Hi guys, welcome back to another video of me teaching. And today I have this question on the board for you guys. So, why don't we just get into the question? Well, this question is actually a typical trick substitution question. But, what trick sub should we do? Well, actually, we should do tangent of theta for multiple reasons. First reason is that 1 plus tangent squared is equal to sec squared, and if we square root, it becomes just sec. And second of all, this is valid because look at the bounds. It's from 0 to infinity. So if I just let x to be tangent, then you see that dx is sec squared. And the bounds, instead of going from 0 to infinity, go from 0 to pi over 2. The bottom will just be 9 plus 25 x squared is just tangent squared of theta. Multiply by, like I said, that will just be sec of theta. And then dx is just sec squared theta d theta. So cancel, cancel. And now we have. The top is just sec, and the bottom is 9 plus 25 tangent d theta. So now, I'm going to split up this 25 tangent into 9 tangent squared plus 16 tangent squared. Why? Because 9 plus 9 tangent squared is just 9 sec squared. So this is equal to... Like I said, 9 plus 9 tangent squared is just 9 sec squared. And we add 16 tangent squared. And now, if we write everything in terms of sine and cosine, this will be... So, this is just... 1 over cosine, and this will be 9 times 1 over cosine squared, and this is 16 times sine squared over cosine squared. So now I'm going to multiply the top and bottom by cosine squared. The top will just be cosine. The bottom will just be 9 plus 16 sine squared. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this over here so it becomes d sine theta. So now, I can do a simple u sub. We can just let u to be sine. And the bounds, instead of going from 0 to pi over 2, we have to go from 0 to 1. So 9 plus 16, u squared, du. So now, if I take the 1 over 16 outside, then the bottom will just be u squared plus 9 over 16, which is equal to 3 over 4 squared. And now, this is in standard inverse tangent form. But before we do that, I'm going to rub the board out. Okay, so this is standard inverse tangent form. So this will just be 1 over 16. 1 over the A times the inverse tangent of the U over the A and then we go from 0 to 1. 
So I'm going to take the 4 over 3 outside. So we just get 1 over 12 times. If we plug in 1, then we get the inverse tangent of 4 over 3. And if we plug in 0, then we get 0. So the final answer will just be 1 over 12 times the inverse tangent of 4 over 3. So this is the final answer of this typical trig substitution question. So thank you guys so much for watching and if you enjoy my video and you want more videos like this, please consider liking and subscribing. If you want to master something, teach it.